Hi, I'm Jeff Hayes, paramedic firefighter with the City of Beatrice. Today we're going to talk about what you need to do if someone has a heart attack. Now there's a difference between having a heart attack and having a cardiac arrest. So today we're going to concentrate on a cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest is when a person's heart is not beating and they're probably not breathing. They're going to be unresponsive and they're going to need help. So the first thing you need to do is recognize that they do need help and get 911 called. After 911 call, you're going to have dispatch. Dispatch is going to walk you through the steps of CPR. Today I have Kittrick all with me, and I have a couple other gentlemen that are going to help us with the steps of CPR. So after you recognize that a person needs help, and today we're going to use Annie as a demonstration, you need to first know that they're not responding. Hey, sir, can you hear me? No response. 911's called. The good thing is today with smartphone technology, you can actually talk to dispatch, have your smartphone available, put it on speakerphone, and they'll help you walk through the steps of CPR. So we're going to do uh, just chest compressions to start. That's where we're going to start. <clears throat> Kittrick's going to place his hands in the middle of the person's chest. What we need to do is we need to expose that chest too. He's going to be right in the middle of the chest and he's going to compress that chest to at least a depth of two to two and a quarter inches at a rate of at least 100 times per minute. Now for most people, you're not going to have available mask or anything else. It's going to be up to you whether you want to breathe for that person too. If Kittrick wanted to do mouth to mouth, he's going to do 30 compressions, he's going to stop, he's going to take control of the airway, and he's going to deliver two breaths. Now, for most everyone, you may not choose to do this step. So the thing that you're going to want to do is just keep doing compressions because it's important that we circulate the blood that is in the body. All right, so Kittrick's doing compressions of at least 100 per minute. Now, something else that we have available to us, and they're across the city in different locations, is an AED. I'm going to have Jason come in with an AED. What we're going to do, first do is open the AED. Some of them will turn on after you open them. Some of you just got to push the button to turn on. The AED is real nice too because it's going to instruct you on what to do for this person. Now, one thing we don't want to do is we don't want to stop compressions like Kittrick did by using that AED. All right. So, once we do that, we open. You can see here it has pictures. It indicates where you need to place the pads on that patient's bare chest. Now, if that patient has clothes on, again, you need to remove those clothes if he happens to be wet or her. You need to sit there Press and clean that up. Firmly to apply pads to patient's <laughs> bare chest. All right, the defib is going to walk you through. Since you've seen what we do for CPR, we're just going to go ahead and do a demonstration now. We're going to use Annie here, and we're just going to say that this is a person that you might find at Walmart, maybe out at the mall, maybe in a restaurant. So I'm going to have Kittrick, BJ, and Jason demonstrate what you need to do if you find an unresponsive person and how to perform CPR. Kittrick, BJ, Jason? Hey sir, can you hear me? Hey, BJ, call 911. Jason, go get the AD. I'm gonna start CPR. I got the AD. All right, put the pads on, I'm gonna keep doing compressions. You call 911. has been called. All right. All right, so now let's just follow the instructions of dispatch and the AED. 